Hello, welcome to another video of mine. It's Commander Blade, and this is your Chelsea News Daily video for you guys, where I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest Chelsea news in the previous 24 hours. Some big news stories. Rafael Varane, he is undecisive, he's undecided on his future and his situation at Real Madrid. Could he potentially be leaving at the end of the season to either Chelsea, Manchester United or Manchester City? We'll be speaking about Kingsley Common and Christian Pulisic potentially being involved in the swap deal with Christian, with Christian Pulisic going towards Bayern Munich and Kingsley Common potentially coming to Chelsea. What are your thoughts and opinions on that? And finally, I'll be discussing Jorginho and his agent, Jao Santos, coming out in an interview with quotes that could Jorginho be leaving at the end of the season. We'll have to wait and see. I'll be delving into all the news reports and the latest news stories. But before I do, make sure you smash like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and comment down below your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get straight into this news early video. And starting off with Rafael Varane, Arguably alongside the second news story, the biggest news story of this video, by Madrid's own, and you guessed it, a Spanish publication. And they're stating that Rafael Varane's intention at the moment is to leave Real Madrid at the end of the season. This is mega news. This is absolutely massive. Rafael Varane is considering every single alternative, including leaving Real Madrid. He is in no rush to make a decision. Now, I've spoken about this guy a few weeks ago on one of my news daily videos, and I said that we need to be careful here because it was a guy that Chelsea haven't been linked with in the past. We have, of course, been heavily interested, but we haven't been heavily linked. So this could be just a BS rumour in that sense. But it really does look as if that he would like to leave at the end of the season. I'll be giving my reasons as to why for that. And But we need to remember that this, there are going to be a lot of centre-backs linked to Chelsea. We need to understand that, you know. Matt Law came out in, in an article and said that Chelsea's two priority positions this summer is going to be striker and it's going to be centre-back. So, of course, you're going to be seeing so many centre-backs linked to Chelsea. All the tabloids, all the news you know, publications, they're going to be linking Rafael Varane and other centre-backs to Chelsea. You need to be listening to the Tier 1 journalists, the Tier 1 sources, the ones that actually have credible, you know, credibility and reliability. I haven't... We haven't heard anything from Fabrizio Romano or Matt Law in regards to Rafael Varane. We've only heard it from tabloids and various Spanish publications like your markers that are, you know, Real Madrid's mouthpieces and your Madrid zones. Could this be pressure on Real Madrid and, the, and you know, his agent and, uh, you know, the president of Fiorentina Paris? Could it be him trying to get a new lucrative contract? Who knows? You know, his agent could be up to all sort of tactics. However... Chelsea are interested in centre back, and Rafael Varane is a top quality world class centre back. And we can now look at his reasons to why he would like to leave Real Madrid. He's 26 years of age, so he is about to enter his prime years of his career. He has won every single trophy that a player could ever dream of. The World Cup with France, starting in every single game for France in the World Cup, leading them to glory is the back line. He's won the Champions League multiple times. He's won La Liga multiple times. He's won the Copa del Rey. Like the guy has won absolutely everything. And he went there as a you know, teenager, as an 18 year old to Real Madrid. And he's been one of the best centre backs ever since, playing alongside arguably the best ever centre back in Sergio Ramos. So he's won everything there needs to be. So maybe he's looking for a new challenge. Maybe come to the Premier League, try and you know, win the Premier League, win other trophies. You know, challenge yourself because he's in his comfort zone at Real Madrid. He's been at a club for nearly a decade. He knows everyone there. He's won every single trophy, surrounded by Galacticos. It's, he's in his comfort zone. But if he wants to challenge himself and come to the hardest, most intensive league in the Premier League, maybe that's what he wants. Hence why these rumours are coming out because he wants a new challenge. He wants to come to the most intensive and toughest league. And of course, Chelsea are on the lookout for a centre back. However, Chelsea are not the only club looking for a centre back. So is Manchester United and so is Man City. So we do have. You know, we are facing some competition for his signature. I do believe Chelsea would have a fantastic chance of signing him. We have the funds. We need to remember his contract is going to expire um, at the end of, uh, you know, in the summer of 2022. So he has just under 18 months left on his current deal. So Real Madrid need to make a decision on him this summer. If he decides not to renew, Madrid will have to sell him this summer. If he is going to renew, which by the way, he could end up staying at Real Madrid, he will just sign an extension you know, with more wages and more of a lucrative contract. So we'll have to wait and see. But the consensus, the consensus, and, and what I'm believing is that he would like to move on. He would like to move on. We'll have to wait and see on the situation. But what do you guys think? Would you take Varane at Chelsea? Do you think he's, you know, the guy that's going to lead us forwards? Do you think he's world class? Do you think that he makes too many mistakes? Would he upgrade our back line to new heights? What do you guys think, Rafa Varane? Remember, because he would only have one year left on this contract we could secure him for you know 50 million even 60 million top so we can get a lot of money you know we can get 
Varane, a world-class centre-back at a very, very reasonable good price. So for me, it's a bit of a no-brainer. You know, if Chelsea are really interested in him, if he wants to move and he wants to come to the Premier League, he wants to come to Chelsea, I see this move happening. It's not definite, it's just links and rumours at the minute. But if he decides to leave Real Madrid, Chelsea could be on his radar. So we'll have to wait and see that one. Any updates on Rafael Varane, I'll be keeping you guys up to date on this channel, of course, as per usual. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Now, getting into... The second news story, and it is in regards to a potential swap deal between Kingsley Coleman and Christian Pulisic. And I'll be brutally honest, this really came out of the blue yesterday. I, I spoke about Christian Pulisic potentially leaving at the end of the season due to a lack of game time, etc. Because of his reoccurring hamstring injuries with Bayern Munich, Liverpool, Manchester United, in, you know, injured and um, interested in his signature. And uh, now according to various reports... It's been claimed that Chelsea are poised to revisit their interest in Bayern Munich winger Kingsley Coleman if Christian Pulisic wants to lead the club. They have been long-term admirers of the Frenchman as they have monitored the 24-year-old when Callum Hudson-Odoi was linked with a switch to Germany. Now the Blues could again explore the option of bringing Coleman to West London if Pulisic opts to move to Bayern Munich. As per the Mail, Chelsea have kept close tabs on Coleman and he's a prime candidate to replace Christian Pulisic. Coleman has two years left on his current deal once the current campaign completes and is yet to extend his deal despite Bayern's willingness. Manchester United and Manchester City are also interested in the French international. Pulisic's future has come into question over his lack of playing time and he has been linked with a possible summer departure and he's only started one of Tuchel's opening 11 games in charge and could seek for a transfer away after his £58 million move in 2019. So again, we'll have to wait and see now. I said yesterday that Bayern Munich are actually interested in Christian Pulisic. Could Pulisic be making a return to the Bundesliga? Who knows? Um, and my false opinions. Listen, listen, we need to understand here... I think it's very premature. Uh, I know Fabrizio Romano has already confirmed that, um, you know, if he will assess his future at the end of the season, I still think he'll be in next season. I think that he needs time. He's had a lot of injuries this season. We've had a change in manager, you know, manager. You know, we've had a change in personnel. Um, it's been a rough season. We've had a lot of ups and downs as a Chelsea fan, as, as Chelsea players. So it's been a rough year for Christian Pulisic. He hasn't reached that four more heights that he did post-lockdown last season when he was easily the best winger in the Premier League. He was absolutely sensational. And I believe that Christian Pulisic will hit those heights again. The guy is very young. He's 22. He has a fantastic ceiling. He has amazing potential. He's dribbling. He's high IQ. He's intelligent. Shooting. Decision-making. He has all the attributes to be a world-class winger. And I think that under the correct manager like Thomas Tuchel to nurture him, and needs to be careful with his injuries. I think that the main stumbling block of Pulisic is he needs to be able to overcome his injuries. I think that's the major stumbling block for him. I think that he will overcome that stumbling block. Um, and I think we need to give time for Pulisic. Listen, if we come you know, this time next season, if I'm speaking about this this time next year, and I'm still going on about the fact that he's still going, he's still having these recurring hamstring injuries, then you know, then we can reevaluate the situation. But I think that he is in two courts plans. I think that he is in the club's plans. He's got the number 10 shirt. So that tells you everything you need to know. And I think he will be our first choice winger the next season. So I think that we need to make sure he can overcome this hurdle of his consistent injuries. We'll have to wait and see. Plus on the plus side, Chelsea interest in Coleman. I would rather keep Pulisic. I think Pulisic has got much better potential compared to Coleman. He's younger than Coleman. He, he suits the bill a lot more. And there's even rumours that Coleman might even extend his contract to Bayern. So I think this news is a bit premature. It, this is coming from the various other links. It is coming from the Daily Mail, who does have some credibility and reliability, the journalist who actually wrote this article. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see on the updates. I think that I don't think Pulisic will leave at the end of the season. And I personally don't see Chelsea signing Kingsley Coleman. So I think it's a bit of a nothing story. However, we need to wait and see. If the rumours intensify, if there's a news update on this situation, of course, I'll keep you guys up to date for that. But let's move on to the final story. And it is in regards to Jorginho and his agent. His agent, mouthing again, yapping away. Now, I'm going to read you guys his quotes um, saying that Jorginho moving to Napoli to reunite with Mauricio Sarri this summer is 100% possible. Um, again, he had an interview with Radio Kiss Kiss Napoli. He said in his words, Sorry, Napoli with Jorginho is a wonderful idea. The player has two and a half years left on his contract at Chelsea and an important salary. It's possible on a football level, certainly. We'd have to see what uh, De Laurentiis thinks. Naples is a city that Jorginho loves very much. 
which marked an important part of his career. Sarri is also an important coach for him, at which he expressed himself at the highest level. Jorginho has come back into the fold on the Thomas Tuchel and has set his six goals from the penalty spot for the Blues this season. However, no transfer decision has been made yet by the Blues ahead of the summer transfer window. Now, this is... If you said this before Tuchel came in, I would have said this guy is definitely leaving at the end of the season because he's not, he wasn't in Lampard's plans and I didn't see a future for him at Chelsea. However, he's in Thomas Tuchel's plans. He's playing week in, week out. He's one of my favourite players. I, I think he's world-class. I think what he does specifically in his position, he's world-class. The attributes that he has, the way we tick as, as a team, the way we dictate the, the game, we can't play the ball out the back without Jorginho in the team and I think that he is in Thomas Tuchel's plans and I still think that he will be signing an extension to his current contract, his current deal. So again, his agent keeps mouthing off. I, I don't even see Sarri ret returning to Napoli. I don't see it because, you know, he left there with a bad taste in the fans' mouths. So I don't even think Napoli, you know, Sarri's even going back to Napoli, let alone you know, Jorginho going back there. So I think, again, we'll have to wait and see. But that is me wrapping up the news daily video. If you did enjoy this uh, news daily video, just smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And I'll see all of you guys for my next video. Peace.